Hey dolls, what's up and welcome back to another Decorate With Me video. You dolls know how I do. We did get a late start this year, but we are still going to be decorating, so stay tuned for more content. Anyways, you dolls saw the title. In this video, we are going to be decorating my entryway in my apartment and I'm so super excited because I have the perfect theme. We are going to be going with a girly winter cabin. I love it. Do you love it? Just you wait. So when you think of winter cabin, what do you think? You think plaid, you think buffalo print, you think wood, you think uh, tree farm, you think all types of boots and like masculine energy is what I think of. I think of the brawny man when I think of like a winter cabin. But I thought, what if we take that idea and we turn it into a more feminine version? So that's what you're going to be doing in today's video. I am going to be going with a very girly, soft, pretty, glam winter cabin. Most of the inspo that I found came from Pinterest, but also this little mind right here. <laughs> Last year we did do a winter cabin themed. It was just a little bit more toned down. I had like elements of winter cabin. I bought in pops of red and green last year, but this year we're going to be doing pink. I'm so excited. So our color palette this year is going to be pink, white, cream, with accents of green and gold. So that's what we're gonna be doing. My tree is up because I believe I already put that up in a previous vlog, but I will insert the footage of me putting up that tree now. So enough ramble, let's go ahead and head into the entryway and get started. Okay, you guys, so we are in my entryway. I do have a Christmas movie playing in the background. So if you guys hear any noise, that's what that is. And of course, you guys know I live with a roommate, but here's the entryway. So this is what you see when you first come in. As you guys can see, the tree's already up. And then I also put the garland. This garland is from last year as well. I believe I got it from Joann's for like $4. They have it on sale again this year for clearance, $4, the same thing. I think I might grab a white one because I think next year we're gonna get rid of the green. So I'm gonna be decorating all of this. I have to do this shelf and I'm gonna do the tabletop. So here's a few of the items that I have out. I didn't really purchase a lot this year for decor because I kind of wanted to focus on using what I already have and like DIYing anything that doesn't work anymore. The only new things I got is this little pile right here. So I got this cute snowman body, which you guys are going to see me do a cute little DIY with this. This thing is actually from Hobby Lobby and this was like on clearance for like four or five dollars. I love all the glitter on it. It's just so cute. I also got this little ornament that I'm going to use from the 99 cents only store. It's like a tree with snow in it is that so cute and then this is from target it's just a little ornament winter truck with a cream tree in the back i thought this fits the theme really really nice i might take off the string and put that up like on the shelf to decorate the shelves a little bit but this i picked up from michael's i saw this um, and I wanted it so bad, but I couldn't pick it up at the time because it was $17, you guys. But Michaels was having a clearance and I actually got it for $6. So I had to go ahead and pick her up. Hi, Pinky. 
we just have this little movie going on and then the rest of the stuff was already from last year so you guys if you've been with me for a while you've already seen this I also have my Christmas bin out we're not gonna be using everything this year obviously because things have changed and things don't fit anymore but we will be using majority of what we already have forgot to show you guys this I actually ordered this from Timu and if you guys are following my vlogs and you already know the delivery I'm waiting on my package um, it got split into two orders and the order that had USPS got here and the order that was Piggy Shipment or whatever it's called didn't get here. So I only got one item so far and I'm still trying to get a hold of the shipment company. Wait until you see how cute this is. <gasps> Look at how cute. It's a mitten. Now I hate the smell of it. It smells like rose. But how cute is that? And I got it to go up on a shelf. Obviously, it's a candle. I'm not going to burn it. It's just for aesthetics only, but it's so cute. So we are going to be using that to decorate the shelves. All of this stuff up here is kind of like what I want to use to kind of decorate the shelves. I know it's not gingerbread theme in here, but we do have some brown and white. And I thought this could possibly go right here at the bottom. I don't know. So that's that, that's what we're working with. I think we're going to do the tree last because I think it's gonna take us the longest and I'm probably gonna be doing the tree up until tonight. But this is what she's looking like. If any of you guys wanna know where I got my tree from, go to my, I think last year's Vlogmas and I got this tree either last year or the year before. I think the year before actually. I got this tree from Wayfair, I believe. So go there, I believe in that video where I do the setting up my Christmas tree, I linked the tree in that video. So go there and check it out. But you can find pink trees anywhere now, like even on Amazon. I did run out of the snow fluff, so I'll, I just put it in the front because you're not really gonna see the back of the tree anyway, which is a tip for you guys. I will be probably ordering some more snow for tomorrow, <laughs> no girl, for next year, but this is what the tree's looking like. And then here's the garland, same as last year. I just added this like bee, wooden beads onto the garland because I think it gives it a more wintry cabin look. And already she's kind of coming to life these decorations have already been up so i just didn't move them y'all i'm i'm just for easy access this year i'm not trying to do too much i have these really cute Sherpa trees and I think I was gonna put them up here but I think they actually might look cute in the window next to the door because let me show you guys my wreath I already hung this wreath on the door you guys may have seen earlier I got this from home goods last year she's so pretty definitely the theme of this entire entryway all wrapped in one so pink golds greens woodsy colors obsessed with it this from home goods as well last year and i just love the tiling art i think it's so cute so i'm gonna try this instead of the trees hmm, i actually do like that okay you guys so this is what i have it at right now i really like it i want to keep it kind of simple and i also want to keep um this kind of clear because I want to be able to set things up on the table so I don't want it to be too cluttered but I think the backdrop of it is really cute right now. I swish out the clear um, trees for this one. I think this is cute here. And my snow girl, you guys will see me DIY in a DIY video. I haven't gotten all the supplies in yet so she's gonna be like this for now. She's gonna be a plain girly for now but you guys will see her later on. Okay so the next thing I want to kind of do is work on this shelf so let's go ahead and work on that
oh yes she is giving okay so i do have i have to put photos back in here i turned this around because i was mad at a bunny okay you guys should we keep this to put on our tree or should we put it up on the shelf i'm kind of feeling like i want to actually put it on the tree so now i'm thinking i might keep this one Take my body girl down. And we also have this cute little snow globe. I wanted to put it up on the shelf as well, but I'm just not sure where it can go. Oh, you know, that's cute. She's cute or whatever. I also have these snowflakes that I used last year up there. I think these look really, really cute. I don't know if I'll get to use them. up there right now but I feel like it might fall but it's for now it's there I don't know you guys how that's gonna give I have to figure out where I can do with those snowflakes because I haven't figured that out quite yet and I also need one other thing to go right here I have this little glove but I feel like I already kind of have a mitten over here so I don't know that this would be the cutest thing to put over there take this off this is so cute you guys like hold on look at how pretty this is she's so cute yes yes you guys i think i know what we're gonna do with her i'm so excited i was gonna put her on the tree but i think we're just gonna tuck her little orange tree i think we're gonna put her here and then I have to fix this photo frame I had it turned around because it's in the opposite way it got stuck it's a long story but I have to fix this photo frame and reposition it but this is gonna go right there in the middle I think for the most part that's gonna be like the end of the shelf last year I did have some fairy lights that I strung through here um, I don't know that I have any more because Pinky chewed them all up, but I might go ahead and pick up some extras. You know what I look cute is like some fake snow in here as well. I have a few little pine cones. I think that'll be it for this shelf for now. guys so I was going through my box of goodies I found this pink stocking my stocking I'm torn on whether or not I want to hang it on the fireplace next to bunny stocking or if I want to put well I'm putting pinky stocking on her pet tower but or if I want to hang it in here I think I know where I'm gonna put my little Sherpa trees from Target. I love these things. I think I'm gonna put them right down there. Take this out. Oh, it's a little dirty. I think I love that. Okay, don't mind the laundry room, but look how cute. And then you come up and the beautiful, gorgeous wreath. Love it. I don't know what to do for a tree skirt. Okay guys, so I found the tree skirt. I wish that this was like fluffy and white to look like snow, um, but it's okay. We're gonna work with what we have this year and next year we will live out our dreams live out our fantasy and also i think i'm going to use some of that white snow that i showed you guys earlier to put around it to try to make it look more like snow oh charlie honey will go 
great. I honestly don't really even care for this. It's like snow. But what I'm thinking, I don't know what I was thinking. I kind of feel like take the pink tree skirt off. I'm kind of thinking I might be able to just make this material work as the tree skirt like as like snow at the bottom and take this tree skirt off okay guys so i took the tree skirt out i'm going to be selling it along with these two stocking sets on my poshmark because they just don't fit my my like color scheme if you will it's more of like a mauve pink and less of like a um baby pink so i'm gonna be selling those so if any of you guys want that check out my poshmark Okay, so now for here, I don't really know. I'm feeling like I just need to buy a big, like, knitted blanket, a big knitted white blanket to go there. I think that would have been more what I was trying to do. We're gonna try to white fluff and see. I don't hate this. I don't hate this. Uh, I do have a little tiny piece here. I'm trying to put in that pinky. That actually doesn't look that bad. Not exactly what I wanted, but better, I think, than the pink tree skirt that I had before. I just think it was not vibing. I just took like that fake snow, this like for tabletops, like kind of like a, it's kind of like a tablecloth, but it's made out of the fake fabric snow and it has like glitter on it and it's from the 99 cents only store. And I just kind of wrapped it around the base of the tree and I put, the extra lights are underneath it so when you plug it in you guys will see like it glows underneath the snow so I think that's pretty cute for now so I want to add a few things we have this truck this is from Hobby Lobby Love here, honestly. I don't know where this is from I want to say home goods but it's a little Rudolph, her antlers are a little messed up. I gotta fix that, but she's cute enough. I also have this house from Target. I'm torn between, it also lights up. I'm torn between putting it underneath the tree, which I don't think I'm gonna do. Um, I think I'm actually gonna use this in my bathroom because I'm doing a little village on top of my um, chest over my toilet. Controlled chaos, okay you guys? Battery's dying, time for a Christmas cookie and a recharge. I did go ahead and find these little wooden trees. I forgot all about these. I believe because last year I had a lot of these little trees because I didn't have my main tree here and I decorated the window seals with them. But I just feel like I don't really need to decorate the window seals this year because it's kind of covered by the tree. So it's kind of pointless for that. So I think I'm probably gonna end up saving these until next year. And these are from Target, you guys. A dollar and three dollars. Like, you cannot lose with this. I don't know what to do with my stocking. I could put it here too. That would be cute as well. I have to figure out where I want to put this, but I feel like I want to put it in the entryway and not up over there on the fireplace, which is fine. It's fine. Okay, guys, so I feel like for the most part, the tree area is done. I just have to put the lights and decorate the tree, which I'm going to do later tonight because I think it'll be much more prettier and I'll be able to show you guys like it glowing at night. So I'm going to put those on at night but right now i'm gonna finish the rest so hey you guys this is all decor that i'm not keeping and then i'm gonna be getting rid of or giving away i think so i'm gonna set that in a pile just so i am like staying organized and keeping things clean as i go so this is stuff that's gonna be sold and then i want to do something cool down here on the floor i want to add that tree i think right here or over here i think that'll be cute Let's see.
Okay, you guys, so I added the little reindeer underneath the tree. I think she's cute for now. She may or may not stay. And then I put this sign that says, I'm trying to get it to the Christmas spirit, but I can't get this bottle open. I think it's so cute. And it matches like the winter cabin girl theme. I also clipped this little mitten at the top of there just to cover the nail because I just hated the exposed nail. And I think it looks pretty good. The next thing I really want to figure out is what to do with my stocking. So this is where Bunny's stocking is right now. It's on the fireplace and this is where my stocking is supposed to go. But I just feel like we can't really use a fireplace right now because we have a lot of clutter that needs to go to storage. So I kind of feel like it kind of doesn't matter. Plus I have another stocking that I can hang here if I want. So here's what I'm thinking you guys. At first I thought I was like oh, let me hang it on the side of this like wooden table thing but then I was like no doing too much then I thought hi let's hang it over here on this wall like next to the mirror but then I also thought doing too much because you have a wreath right there and then you have I don't know I think it would look cute but I'm not 100% sold on it then I thought I have this like ugly wall right here that I like never show and it has like bunny shoes and stuff on it which I really want to find a different storage I really want to clean out the closet and like put these shoes inside of the closet like inside of the the coat closet but I have to figure it out and put like a cute little bench right here that could also store shoes but that you could sit on to put your shoes on at the same time that's a clutch but um anywho I was thinking about hanging it up on this wall. This is just like an ugly, the ugliest wall ever. So I was thinking like maybe if I put like my stocking, it might look pretty cute. I don't know you guys, tell me what should I do with the stocking, I have no idea, but she is going up for sure. Okay you guys, so I found my little vintage truck and she has a little wreath on the front, how cute, and frosted um, pine cones and ornaments on the back. I just think this is really nice. I'm thinking of setting it next to this little bench and it'll also cover the outlet, which I hate outlets, you guys, I hate seeing them. guys I'm gonna play around with this truck a little bit because she is quite a big piece so it's really kind of it takes up a lot of space so it's kind of like really super iffy how I do it but I think um, I could put her a little bit over I think she'll look cute I just have to figure it out the next thing is I found these trees that are totally winter cabin themed and I'm thinking about switching it out with this one you guys but I don't know because I feel like this plant kind of is a vibe I don't know it's an idea what do you guys think and don't worry it's just a Poshmark order that has to go out so what do you guys think if I switch this out I obviously have to fluff her out a little bit and she does light up I just have to batteries I kind of like it it's kind of a vibe but I don't know I'm gonna leave it right here you guys will see what we decide in the final tour reveal the next thing I found is oh my god I was so obsessed with this truck I love this I got this from home goods no no not home goods Hobby Lobby and it actually lights up at the back the Christmas tree <sighs> It's just the cutest thing. Last year I had it on this tabletop, but I'm thinking I have like a truck there, a truck over there. It's like you got a lot of trucks, girly. So I'm thinking if I'm gonna put the truck up here, I don't know if I can have that truck there. And also I'm thinking about just adding it somewhere else. I don't know, making like a little treescape with the truck inside of it. I might just do that and make it kind of woodsy, white, and themed. I think it'll still even match with the the gray so I might do that but I'm obsessed with her she was so worth it she was expensive I remember she was about $20 or so but so worth it I don't think I have a use for this you guys so I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell this up on my Poshmark so look for her oh look what I found from when Pinky was a kitten it was like our first Christmas together I have to put this somewhere but I don't think I'm gonna put it in the entryway it does fit the rustic feel I just don't know because I already have like frames already up so 
I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Maybe it can go in my office. Yeah. Christmas day, you been waiting this late. It's almost Christmas day, you been waiting this late. Pretty late you guys and the room is a mess or at least the living room it's just a hot mess but it's because this stuff in this like pile is for DIY that stuff in this pile is going to get sold and I just have to take pictures and list it this stuff right here is like spring decor that I need to pack away in this bin with other spring decor these are bags that I might need to pack some of this stuff away and then some extra bins so I have to clean that up okay so I got my little bin. I'm sorry, you guys are kind of low. There you go. I got my little bin of tricks here, or it's like sewing stuff and just extra ribbon and fabrics and stuff that I need. <coughs> and I wanted to hot glue this ribbon at the edge, like, like how I showed you guys bunny stocking, just like that. I feel like that'll give it a much more of a wintry feel to it so I'm gonna do that and hang that back up in the entryway <coughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm still going getting over a cold you guys I also found some of this decorative ribbon or what is this mesh that I used last year for Valentine's Day um, I think this will look nice in the Candyland room or not really Candyland you guys are calling it Candyland <laughs> but yeah in the candy room I think this I could use this there I'm also going to start trying to mix in like Valentine's Day after December obviously in January I'm gonna start to mix in Valentine's Day decor with my Christmas decor I don't know if I mentioned that with you guys but a lot of my Christmas decor is pink so it just makes sense that I just transition it into Valentine's Day and add like hearts in the red you know what, I'm going to be honest with y'all, I'm not really going to add red except probably in the kitchen, but yeah. I have some more red tool, which I used this on the garland in the kitchen last year. And it was such a waste of money because I'm not a red girly. I don't know why. I, I was I was trying it. I tried oh, pink ribbon. Okay, I found a little bit of pink ribbon. So I might be able to get started on a few other DIYs and some pink pearl ribbon. Okay, cool. I'm so happy I went through that. Um, I'm going to DIY the stocking really quick. And then I'm going to probably set up to film the Christmas tree. It's almost time for us to start decorating that. I do want to make cook dinner and eat dinner first. And then, why am I telling you guys this? This is not a vlog. This is actually a decorating video. So let me go ahead and get this done and put up. And then I'll show you guys the finished product. Meow, 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 Hey you guys, the last thing we have to do is decorate the Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and decorate the Christmas tree. Here are not all of my ornaments and not even close but it's one of the bins and i thought i'd start here and see what we have and then i'll move to the next bin so i definitely want to use these this are from michael's this is from last year these are just like some plain pink bubbles i want to try to keep it as minimal as possible that's not saying a lot for me okay because y'all know i'm a maximalist so but i don't want to go too crazy i don't really have a lot of winter cabin themed ornaments so that's something i'm gonna have to collect over time um but i think for now just adding some of the pink ball balls on and a few other ornaments that i feel like would go with the theme could work i also have these i think these two Ornaments would look nice. They kind of look like snowballs. I don't know about these two though. I feel like I could use them, but I don't know about them. And then what's in this bin? Definitely going to use this one, you guys. So let's just go ahead and put that. Let's let this be the first one.
You guys, this is gonna sound a little bit crazy. Hold on, let me get you guys situated. This is gonna sound a little bit crazy, but I kind of like my tree the way that it is. Like, obviously I would've put a few ornaments, but like, I don't wanna cover the tree. Like, I like the idea of having the pink tree it looks so winter wonderland. And I feel like I don't have enough um, winter cabin ornaments to decorate it with. So I feel like a few of these. Um, and then I also have these. I was thinking like snowflakes. But the only thing about this is the pearls. I feel like the pearls don't match the like wood cabin theme. So that's a bummer. Oh, I do have this. Yeah. This would be a cute topper, tree topper, but I also found a tree topper as well. This is so cute. It's glam though. It's definitely not a winter cabin, but I'm gonna use it anyway because we are not buying any, we're not buying anything <laughs> this year. So, so ooh, ooh, I just found oh, another one of these. Found the Jack pot of candy one in here. Look at this donut. Oh, that's not the thing. That's not the thing. So I'm thinking, not these birds, but maybe just a few snowflakes. I just want it to look like winter. So maybe just like a few ball balls and a few snowflakes sprinkled here and there. There's this tree topper too. So these are my options. You guys, I'm kind of feeling this one because it's a little bit more gold than this one, but we have some tree topper options and these gold um what do you call these acorns i don't know but i think these might look cute too they might give more of a winter cabinish vibe and then i'll add ornaments on like throughout vlogmas like a few more so let's get started i think with the ball balls sometimes you just need to start just start. Oh, yes, this one. I definitely want to keep this one on there. This is going to be perfect. So we'll put that aside. Cloche ornaments as well. Which I don't know that they give much a cabin, but they're cute. Yay. Okay, this is not a ornament haul, you guys. This is just. Oh, I found some more snowflakey ornaments. I think these are going to be good. Like this instead. It's a napkin holder actually. Stop. It's a ball ball. 